हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर नर्सेस प्रिपरेशन आई एम नीरज कुमार कैथल टुडे वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर अपकमिंग एम्स नर्स एग्जाम 2021 इन द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ एम्स नर्स एग्जाम दिस इज द वीडियो नंबर 10 वी हैव अपलोडेड नाइन प्रीवियस वीडियोस दैट आर आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट सो let's begin our video uh, this video is about fluid and electrolyte this is the important topic from which aims asked one or two questions every year our first important point is if a person is suffering with excessive vomiting diarrhea or sweating or burn or hemorrhage due to any reason whether is from accident or other this all condition leads fluid volume deficit deficit means decrease due to all these condition patients blood fluid volume decreases and this condition leads into the hypotension hypotension means decrease blood pressure of a person if this condition is not treated early then the person may go into the hypovolemic shock and it is a much critical state next point in our body calcium is a very important element our bone are especially made up of calcium the normal calcium level in our body mm -hmm. is 8.5 to 10.5 mg per dl if the calcium level rises more than 10.5 mg per dl this condition known as hypercalcemia if the calcium level falls below 8.5 mg per dl this condition is known as hypocalcemia in hypocalcemia condition titani muscle cramps tingling of the fingers are the important sign that are seen titani muscle cramps tingling of the fingers all are the important sign that are seen in hypocalcemia now let's talk about the next important point normal potassium level is 3.6 to 5.2 m mol per liter milli mol per liter potassium is a very important substance in our body if the potassium level increases more than 5.2 m mol per liter it means the person is having hyperkalemia condition if the potassium level falls below 3.6 m mol per liter it means the person is having hypokalemia condition hypokalemia means low potassium simply if a person is having hypokalemia it shows some important signs and symptoms these are person person will feel muscle weakness cardiac arrhythmias always remember potassium is a very important for heart its rise level or decrease level can be harmful for heart cardiac arrhythmias may occur due to hypokalemia person may feel lethargy nausea and vomiting and anorexia anorexia is a less loss of appetite next urine specific gravity is checked to know the urine concentration if we want to know in a person about urine concentration we can check urine specific gravity of that person and urine concentration gives an idea about body's hydration level and urine concentration shows the person's body's hydration level the person is is 
हाइड्रेटेड बॉडी और डिहाइड्रेटेड बॉडी इट कैन बी गैस बाय द आइडिया ऑफ यूरिन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन नॉर्मल वैल्यू ऑफ यूरिन स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी इज वन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव टू वन पॉइंट जीरो थ्री जीरो नॉर्मल यूरिन स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी इज वन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव टू वन पॉइंट जीरो थ्री जीरो इन द एम्स एग्जाम एम्स नेवर वन आस्क दीज वैल्यूज डायरेक्टली दे मेक अ एम सी क्यू इन दिस पुट अ सिचुएशन एंड गिव दैट वैल्यू यू हैव टू रिमेंबर द एग्जैक्ट रेंज ऑफ दिस यूरिन स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी बाई नोइंग दिस वैल्यू यू कैन सॉल्व देयर क्वेश्चन सो ऑलवेज ट्राई टू रिमेंबर द वैल्यूज ट्राई टू क्लियर योर कॉन्सेप्ट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इफ द यूरिन स्पेसिफिक स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी इज इंक्रीजेज इन अ पर्सन इट मीन्स द पर्सन बॉडी इज डिहाइड्रेटेड इट मीन्स पर्सन इज हैविंग लो फ्लूड लेवल्स इफ अ पर्सन यूरिन स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी डिक्रीजेज इट मीन्स पर्सन बॉडी इज ओवर हाइड्रेटेड to remember this thing simply always remember this thing if the unit specific gravity increases body's hydration level decreases if the body's hydration level increases then urine specific gravity decreases both are opposite to each other next point after surgery except kidney surgery adult patient need 2000 to 3000 ml fluid per day to maintain fluid volume after surgery except kidney surgeries adult patient need 2000 to 3000 ml fluid per day to maintain fluid volume in few surgeries and according to the situation this value can be changed you can take screenshot friends if you find this video is helping you then please click upon the like button thank you next point is edema edema is means accumulation of serum or water in cellular tissues edema means accumulation of serum or water into the cellular tissues next point kidney are the main organ that maintain fluid balance in our body kidneys are the main organs that maintain fluid volume in our body fluid volume is also maintained by the skin lungs through feces and other ways but kidneys are the main organ next electrolyte balance is maintained by the renal system electrolyte balance is maintained by the renal system next now let's talk about the electrolytes in our body major electrolytes found these are first we talk about the major electrolytes found in extra cellular space extra cellular space means outside the cell extra outside the cell extra extra cellular space major electrolytes are sodium chloride and calcium na plus cl minus or ca plus plus now inside the cell intracellular important major electrolytes are potassium magnesium phosphate potassium magnesium phosphate k plus mg2 plus po4 po4 minus 3 these are the intracellular major electrolyte 
समटाइम्स क्वेश्चन आस्क मेन एक्स्ट्रा सेल्युलर इलेक्ट्रोलाइट और कैशन यू हैव टू आंसर सोडियम सोडियम दिस वन सोडियम इज अ मेन मोस्ट अबंडेंट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एक्स्ट्रा सेल्युलर इलेक्ट्रोलाइट और कैशन मेन इंट्रा सेल्युलर इलेक्ट्रोलाइट और कैशन इज पोटेशियम पोटेशियम इज अ मेन इंट्रा सेल्युलर मीन्स इन साइड द सेल पोटेशियम इज अ मेन इंट्रा सेल्युलर इलेक्ट्रोलाइट फाउंड इन द सेल नेक्स्ट इंक्रीज पोटेशियम मोर देन फाइव पॉइंट टू एम मोल पर लीटर इज नोन एज हाइपर कैलिमिया इंक्रीज पोटेशियम लेवल मोर देन फाइव पॉइंट टू एम मोल पर लीटर इज नोन एज हाइपर कैलिमिया नॉर्मल पोटेशियम लेवल इन आर बॉडी इज थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स टू फाइव पॉइंट टू एम मोल पर लीटर If a person is having hyperkalemia condition, check vitals regularly because hyperkalemia can cause serious cardiac arrhythmias and cardiac arrest. Potassium is a very important electrolyte and dangerous electrolyte for our body or heart. If a person is having hyperkalemia or increased potassium level in his body you have to monitor all the vitals regularly because in this condition patient suddenly may have cardiac dysarrhythmias or cardiac arrest and due to this patient can cause death you can take a screenshot next point is serum sodium level normal serum sodium level in our body is 135 to 145 milli equivalent per liter next point bicarbonate bicarbonate is very essential element of our body it helps in the maintenance of body ph its normal level is 22 to 29 milli equivalent per liter next important prolonged and extensive surgery can cause retention of sodium and excretion of potassium in a patient who having long operations or surgeries in that time their body retained sodium ion and start excretion of potassium ion so due to this mechanism or phenomena we have to continuously monitor the vital signs of a person next normal blood urea nitrogen level is 10 to 20 mg per dl 10 to 20 mg per dl is a normal bun level or blood urea nitrogen level next point percentage of water in different age groups in newborn baby's body total weight 70 to 80% part is due to the water in adult person 60 to 70% of part of the body weight is due to water and in old age approximately 40% part is due to water next point hyponatremia deficiency of sodium hyponatremia means deficiency of sodium normal serum sodium level is 135 to 145 milli equivalent per liter if the sodium level decreases below 135 milli equivalent per liter this situation called as hyponatremia sodium is a very essential element in fluid maintenance and regulation of blood pressure hyponatremia can cause cellular swelling sodium's deficiency in our body
कैन कॉज फ्लूड शिफ्टिंग फ्रॉम एक्स्ट्रा सेल्यूलर टू इंट्रा सेल्यूलर वेन दिस फ्लूड कम्स इन टू द सेल द सेल बिकम स्वेल एंड ड्यू टू दिस सेरिब्रल एडिमा अकर्स ड्यू टू दिस सेरिब्रल एडिमा अकर्स एंड पेशेंट हैव कंफ्यूजन सिम्टम्स पेशेंट फील्स कंफ्यूज ड्यू टू सेरिब्रल एडिमा and this cerebral edema occurs due to the fl fluid shifting from extracellular space to intracellular space because of the decreased sodium level next dehydration in dehydration condition skin seen as dry in anemia condition skin looks pale in color you can take screenshot so friends this is all important points about the fluid and electrolytes how was the video please leave your feedback in comment section below we are waiting for your response if you think this video is helpful then please click upon the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe our youtube channel for nurses preparation friends this videos Hindi version is available on our Hindi YouTube channel its name education experience expo its link available in description box below you can check this video also thanks for watching once again and all the best